Dolly and panning shots are two important camera movements. But if in the dolly we have to render all the frames, in a panoramic shot we can get an animation with a single spherical image. This is possible because, for perspective reasons, panoramas have no visible parallax. Let's see how to make an animation in After Effects, also adding a fire using just one frame. Before moving on the practical part, I want to highlight two changes I made to the scene and which allowed me to produce a render that will make the process easier. First of all, I moved the camera slightly on the left in order to prevent the fire and the plant from overlapping. This conflict would have forced me to mask the fire and overcomplicate my work. So I preferred to avoid it from the beginning. The other change I made was to darken slightly the outside. The rain will be added to the glass window using an additive method as a blending mode to create more brightness. So the darker the background, the greater the contrast, thus making the effect more evident. With these just two modifications I prepared the ground to make the process simple and to obtain a more effective result. Let's start by importing the image we just created and create an HD format composition that we will call Final Video. And inside this composition, which is nothing more than a group that contains some elements, we place the render. At this point, the image we have here is a normal image that doesn't have any properties that allow you to navigate it. What we need to do now is set some settings that allow us to navigate it exactly like we did in 3ds Max. To do that, we need to right click on the layer, Effects, Perspective and CC Environment. The image disappears, but it will reappear in a moment when we create a camera. At this point we set 18 millimeters and here our scene is back. We can do a little adjustment to rebuild the scene as before. At this point, if we rotate along the y-axis, we will get the same effect we had in 3ds Max. The animation tools in After Effects are very similar to 3ds Max, since it's also based on the use of keyframes. In this case, to create a keyframe here for this parameter, we need to animate it by clicking on these icons. In this case, we will animate Y rotation, so we click here and rotate to the starting point, which is here. So now, assuming we want to create a 5 second animation, we go to the 5th second, and rotate it until the central perspective. Here we must not disable anything, this icon must remain active and here is our animation. As you can see by default After Effects produces linear type animation. But since we have seen that the camera pan movements should be made with a slowdown both at the start and the finish, we can do it this way. We select the two keys, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease. ease. 
Now the animation starts slowly, which is a constant speed for a moment and slow down at the end. If it seems too fast, also in this scenario we will think like in 3ds Max, just drag the last frame a little farther, let's say to the 7th second for example, so we get the same animation in a longer time, thus producing a slowdown as a result. Now, don't make the mistake of thinking that to add some elements I have to track the scene. Because in this case we are talking about an image that has no parallax effect, so all the development take place on a still image. Let's see how. First of all, we convert this layer into a separate composition that we will call base. This makes this image an independent group within which to work without modifying what happens in the final video. By double click on base we can access this separate group on which we can work. I'll give you an example of what is possible to do. If I create a red box here, this element will directly affect the final composition. If in fact we go to the final video and we reproduce the animation, here's what we get. Now, I guess at this point it is clear what I'm going to do. Let's go back to base. And now we import two new elements, fire and rain. Let's start with the fire. I place it above the image. I set an additive type blending mode for this layer which is usually screen, which is the most used uh, for elements that produces light, obtaining this result. Now I hold shift key to scale proportionally and I place it right here. This is the pre-composition and this is the final video. If you see that the video appears slightly in low quality, it's because I'm using the half resolution option. This allows me to have better performance. Obviously, to see it in its final resolution, I should use full. This, however, means that in the preview, when I press the space key to see the animation, I could have some slowdowns because obviously there are more information to process. But now, since we are in the preview phase, we can safely use half resolution. And that's all about adding fire. Within the official course, you'll also find how to add rain both in the panel and with the real tracking.